I think that this um, entire issue is a, um, is a stain on the soul of our country. Um, I understand that there have been trips to the border. Uh, I too was part of one, I think almost three weeks ago. Uh, I would have participated in the one that the chairman sponsored, uh, but I had already been to a, a border control uh, facility as well as an ICE facility. Uh, you know, I think for the majority that this is also a source of great embarrassment to you, um, and for many reasons. Uh, but there's no way that anyone can pull a rabbit out of a hat and say that we've done anything of any substance here at this committee that has jurisdiction over HHS. When the president announced his zero policy, um, his zero tolerance policy uh, that separated nearly 3,000 children from their families, uh, HHS has been thrust into the middle of implementing this disastrous policy. Um, now the agency has to address the fallout of the crisis uh, by reuniting the families. And while HHS was not responsible for separating the families, I think we have to hold the agency accountable to reunite them um, promptly. And that has not happened. You're talking about single digit uh, instances. Um, it's not happening. It simply is not happening. Uh, the mission of uh, uh, ORR is to house unaccompanied uh, minors, not children who were separated from their parents at the border, and as such, there has been no plan for how these children should be reunited with their families. It's been three weeks since the president reversed his family separation policy, but despite the agency's uh, efforts, thousands of children remain separated from their parents. That's a fact. It's reported morning, noon, and night, every single day of the week since this disastrous uh, policy was put into place. Now, last month, a federal judge gave HHS a two-week deadline to reunite the 102 children in its care who are under the age of five. Yesterday, it missed that deadline claiming logistical challenges such as DNA testing having delayed the release of the children. Now the government is facing a July 27th deadline to reunite the thousands of children uh, that remain, uh, of remaining children with their families, and it's unclear how it will do so in time. We have hearings on everything here, on everything from A to Z, and we should. Not on this. Not on this. Why? 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 In his testimony to Congress on June 26, Secretary Azar said, quote, there is no reason why any parent should not know where their child is located. And he claimed his department could immediately locate any child in an HHS facility. But when I traveled to the border and met with mothers, by the way, in prison guard in an ICE faci a detention facility whose children had been taken from them, none of them knew where their children were. Not a one. And they didn't have the money. They said they could make telephone calls. We wanted to put money in the kitty, but I said we couldn't even do that. So they couldn't make telephone calls to anyone. I also learned that all detained individuals, including children, are given an A number, an alien registration number, yet there is no interoperable system in place to link these uh, numbers between children who are placed in the care of HHS and, the and their families being held by ICE, creating widespread confusion between the agencies about their responsibilities, respect to these families. I mean, this is, to call it a Rube Goldberg plan doesn't begin to describe it, except these are human beings. These are human beings. It's a rotten policy that was put into place. I don't blame Secretary Azar, but you know what? It's not happening. 
And that's why this resolution and this committee and having a hearing is really absolutely necessary. I, I, I think that this is a, 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 a I, I don't know whether we're, some are in denial here, uh, uh, but this really does cry out, and everyone Gentiles. should be crying right. out uh, to find out what the heck is happening. Gentiles I wrote to time. the secretary about three weeks ago. Maybe you can help, Mr. Chairman. I've never heard from HHS to find out if any children have been shipped into my district. So uh, I support Gentiles the resolution, time. and uh, uh, I yield back the time that I don't have anymore. <laughs>